Hey and welcome back everyone. So now that you guys have the major overview right here, which is of course total overkill compared to what Trina actually asked me to build. Um, I'm going to focus now on the first part of building this web application, which is only going to be the Firebase and the Angular part up here in the top. That's where we're going to start out. And we're going to try and focus on all the features that kind of came out of the discussion me and uh, Trina had in the Scrum videos. So I tried to make a small Scrum board that we can work with. Um, so right here I have a, a small Scrum. I'm using a tool called Scrumwise, it doesn't matter. Here I'm using a Scrum board right here. And, um, and right now I've decided in the first sprint to do these things right here to kind of make uh, Trina happy. And there's actually some pretty complex things in here that we'll, we'll have to manage. We'll get back to those. But the first step you'll see right here is I made an initial setup backlog item right here. Let me try and zoom a bit. Maybe that helps you guys. There we go. An initial setup right here. That's the first one I made. And I have a setup Firebase, setup Angular, and setup GitHub. So we have all of these ready so we can start working actually. And what we're going to do this video is we're going to set up Firebase to actually have some kind of backend that we can work with. So that's going to be the first step for me. I'm going to put it in progress and, uh, and I'm going to do that right now. So let's jump into Firebase uh, and have a look. I'm inside firebase.com, uh, uh, sorry, firebase.google.com and I'll now go to the console. And again, of course, you need an account here. You need to have a Google account to get to this point. I expect that you're doing that. It's just getting an account, Gmail or something like that and you have the account. So I go into the console right here and inside the console, I want to add a new project. And my new project is going to be called um, Hairdresser. And let's call it a Salon, something like that. Maybe that's uh, not quite unique, but I'll still take that name. That's okay. I'll pick uh, Enable Google Analytics. I'll continue. And then I'll just select the default account for Firebase that I have available right here. And it'll create the project. So this will take a bit of time. Now the application is ready right here on Firebase. So let's try and continue. Um, uh, right here, you'll see everything you can do with Firebase out of the box. And there's actually a lot of things you have out of the box. You have authentication. We'll dive into that later. We have a database. Give me a second, I'll come back to that one. We are going to use Firestore, but there's actually two to pick from. You have the Firestore database and you also have the real-time database. Now, this is the old original database that Firebase built. And I don't think that's the one you want to use because Firestore is just the one that gets the most love right now and it's growing really fast. So that's the one we're going to use. Uh, we're also going to end up using storage to save files, images. We're going to end up host our application right here. Hopefully within a couple of videos, we're already ready to have it hosted so I can go back to Trina with a link and show her our progress, right? So that's the goal. We're going to use functions to make some kind of um, API that can help us uh, maybe some small, think of it as, as microservices uh, almost, uh, that was almost Danish, as microservices that you can actually do small services up here in your backend. I'll show you that as well. And then we're not going to touch the machine learning, but it's also available in Firebase out of the box. So let's have a look at what else we have. Quality, some Crestlytics, some dashboard, some way to grow if you want more. You have extensions and then you can upgrade your plan if you want to. Spark is fine for me. Free, I like free. And then we can use it as a prototype until Trina is happy and then we might open it up for a real project. Good. So now we have Firebase uh, up and running. We have our first project on Firebase called the Hairdress Salon. And if I open the database part right here, I can create a new Firestore database. So let's just do that. And I'll actually create it in test mode first. Now this means that everybody with information can actually access this and change this, uh, which is of course not safe. So you should, when you go to production mode, you should set up some rules and we'll get back to those later as well. But now let's just keep it in test mode to make it easy. I'll pick a location and I'm picking Europe right now. You have to, you cannot change your location later, so pick the right one. It's just where you want to store your data, and I think Europe has the best rules. I'm from Denmark, so I believe that's uh, where I should put my data anyway. I'll say OK, and it'll create the Firestore part for, um, for my project right here, which is my database. Now, while it builds this, what is Firestore? Well, Firestore is a document-based database, and that pretty much means that we can save data, uh, not in a relational way, but you're going to save data instead in... Um, in a document based way. But as I'll show you, you actually have the same idea. You have instead of tables, we have something called collections, right? So instead of rows, you have something called um, documents. And instead of 
columns, you have something called fields. So you have the same, you can kind of uh, link these two together if you are normally used to uh, um, a relational database. So, so don't worry, we'll get back to it in the next lesson. But this was kind of my first step right here. I can uh, go back, I have a Fire, Firestore up and running now. Uh, I have a Firebase instance ready. And if I go back to my scrum board right here, I, I've set up my Firebase. So uh, let's just go in here, put in uh, an amount of time I've used. And in this I can use right here, I can say how many, much time and that wasn't, that wasn't half an hour, but still um, um, I've been busy today, so I'm going to do it anyway. And then I'm moving it all the way over here to done. And uh, that was the first assignment. So next lesson, let's try and set up Angular. See you next time, have fun.